The Washington Commanders have made defensive tackle Deron Payne the highest paid defensive tackle, not named Aaron Donald. What is going on everybody, it's your boy Abdullah coming at you with another video for the channel and welcome back to the DMV Sports Zone. And then today guys, I'm coming at you with some news. I know I am late to the party. Yesterday I was coming back uh, from home to school, put everything down. And by the time I put everything down, I was so tired, I fell asleep. Let me just make a video the next day talking about this whole Deron Payne thing. I am psyched. Literally saw the news when I was driving here. Finally got the deal done. It is four years, $90 million. And I think it's really team friendly as well. If I look at it right here. Um, hold on one second. Pre agency has also started the 12 p.m. window. So a lot of news has been happening around the league. Uh, let me see. Give me one second. So it's a four year, $90 million, $28 million signing bonus, $60 million guaranteed. Uh, first year is going to hit 2.51 mil fully guaranteed, 24, year 24, I mean, 2024, 15 mil fully guaranteed, 25, 19, around 20, 26, 16. So this is really, honestly, this, this is a great uh, thing that we did. I was kind of surprised that we actually got this done. One thing that I'll give Ron Rivera credit for, he has found a way to sign or bring back our first rounders. We paid Jonathan Allen, and now we paid Deron Payne, and other guys that we love on this team as fans, Terry McLaurin. So he's getting those deals done. So I, I love to see. I really do. And, I mean, if we just look at Deron Payne this year, 11 and a half sacks, you know, like literally top three in every defensive tackle category, has a disruptive ability on the interior, powerful mover with lower body agility, 6'3", 320 pounds, pass rush production. It, it's amazing the way he can bat the ball down, you know, tip at the goal line, Atlanta Falcons kind of full interception, just he's, he's a menace. He really is. And with this uh, contract, we created about $9.4 million in cap space. So Washington does have around $24 million to work with in free agency, and we can create more if we wanted to. So again, this is great. This is really awesome have our Alabama guys. Honestly, guys, listen, I don't think this is a hard, harsh, hard, I don't think this is a hot take. Jonathan and Duran are arguably the best defensive tackle duo in the league. Can't really, really name anyone else on the top of my head. But the Bama boys, you know, it's crazy because a year, two years ago, or it was not last season, but the season before, with him punching, or Jonathan Allen punching him on national television, it's like, okay, get Duran Payne out of here. You know, he's, he's going to be a cancer in the locker room. Like, this guy doesn't know how to control himself. And... When he was on, when he didn't get the, his extension, he could have sat out, you know, last year off season. Still, you know, was there OTAs, minicamp, just balling out and proving to the coaching staff that, hey, I deserve to get paid. And what a year he had. You know, what a year he had, man. It was it, it was insane to see it. And I'm happy for the guy. He's really young. I think 25 years old. That's insane. That's really good to keep our Bamba defensive line. And the one question that this does raise about paying Jonathan and Duran, I think we're going to have to choose between paying Montez and Chase. And all in all, I think they will pick Chase because they drafted him at pick, pick number two. So Montez is looking like he might be out of the out of the window, whether that's trade or as team just offers him the bag. But forget about Montez. This is about Duran Payne. I'm happy for the dude. He, he got his money. It's, it well-deserved, very much well-deserved. I mean, everyone's been reacting to it. And it's been awesome. Again, I know as much as as much as much you know criticism we give to Ron Rivera, the guys, the reason why the guys are still here and they're, they want to stay here, give them the uh, hope of hey, we can sustain a winning culture. And it's year four; it has to be some fire under that seat for everyone in the building. But yeah, man, this is this is awesome. And Deron Payne got the bag. I'm so happy. 2018, I think we drafted him in the first round, 13th overall. I kind of wanted Vita Vea, I remember, or with Mika Fitzpatrick. I, f I forgot, but Deron Payne, literally, uh, you know, I know like hey, last year it was a big year when it comes to sacks, and people are going to say, oh, well, he was getting, he was going to get the bag. Well, I think that's part of it. Also, the fact that we let go of Coach uh, Sam Mills as the defensive line coach. Coach Z promoted him, brought in Ryan Kerrigan. So the small things like that is probably a big reason why he had such a successful year this past year, and just the ability to bat the ball down, put pressure, sacks, like, we want this defensive line, and this defense as a whole, definitely top 10, I'm probably top 7 this upcoming year, the expectation is there, we're paying these guys, and we expect the production to be there, now, for free agency itself, uh, I just want us to go after some interior offensive linemen, 
it would be nice to bring in the hometown kid Tremaine Edmonds, but kind of impossible because I'm pretty sure he's going to want the bag. But, yeah, free agency has started. Let's see. I mean, this is huge, man. Again, we franchise tagged the guy, and we didn't know BS. Ron Rivera and uh, Martin Mayhew clearly said, hey, let's get the extension done before the free agency period opens. So shout out to them. Man. I got to give Ron applause for that. That was that was great. That was great. I'm really happy for it. Shout out to Deron Payne for getting his bag. Well-deserved money. Him and Jonathan Allen are here for the long run. And I'm all in for it. Free agency has started, or the temporary temp, tampering period. People can agree to stuff verbally. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching another video of the DMV Sports Zone channel. Let's push out as much fire content as possible. Follow us on all social media platforms. TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, at DMV Sports Zone. I'm out. Peace. Shout out to Ron Payne, man. Left hand up. <laughs>